I banyak berkawan dengan orang Indonesia daripada mm-hmm. dekat US masa sambung degree dekat Iowa State. Kat situ mm-hmm. ramai orang Indonesian yang Indonesian Chinese. Tapi orang tak panggil Indonesian Chinese macam dekat they just call themselves Indonesia. Indonesian je. Yeah, true. Yeah. Let's say if a stranger asks me where are you from? Oh, you're Indonesia. That's all. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been talking about something very heavy. I think it's time for us to chill a bit. <laughs> I want to ask you about what. Let's go back to talk about Indonesians, okay? Uh, what else do you know or like notice about Indonesians that are different from Malaysians in general? Do you have any other maybe Indonesian relatives or friends perhaps that you can somehow compare to? Like, hey, yeah, they don't do this. They they do this instead. I have a intern who's actually an Indonesian um, who works under me. Yeah, like I know a lot of Indonesian people, but like including me. Yes, including you, including <laughs> Sally, of course. When I was a kid, I grew up in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. My neighbors were both Indonesian. What do you notice about them? It's so broad, yeah. My question. It's very <laughs> broad. I don't know. Like they're just like anyone else. <laughs> Okay. I mean, if you think about it, like only like six, seventy years ago, we were kind of the same country, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Last yeah. Time. It's like before the forties, we were basically the same country, <laughs> just ruled by different people, right? So. Yeah, true. Ours is the Netherlands. Yours is British, right? Yeah. That's why our school system is different, also. That's yeah. why you guys have people who know how to speak Dutch. Okay, I'll tell you some of the leftovers from the British. Okay. So because of the British, every store has fish and chips. Fish and chips. If you go to any of these uh, stall uh, stores like Malay, Chinese, whatever, you'll always find fish and chips. It's because so random. It, it's like something that all restaurants have. You could order fish and chips from anywhere in Malay. Really? Asia. I never yeah. noticed that. Almost every school has uh, soccer, has football. Wait. Um, Let's go back to the fish and chips. Where can you order fish and chips? Like anywhere? You go to a Malay store that just sells, supposedly sells uh, nasi goreng, rice, things like that. You could probably ask for fish and chips. You go to a mama store, they probably have fish and chips as well. Really? Yeah. There's a lot of uh, things that the British left. Like football, rugby is also a big sport in our country because of the British. Cricket is also a big sport because of the British. Oh, yeah. this is very random. Talking about school, do you guys have upacara bendera every Monday? Do you know upacara? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just really cute. Why? Okay. Up- upacara means uh, we call it upacara. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, you guys call upacara. It's yeah. More, more baku. Oh. Yeah. Uh, naikkan bendera where they would naikkan. Yeah, and like do this. No, we don't do that. We don't do anything. We just have our hands next to our sides. But you guys have the ceremony every Monday? Yeah, the flag goes up. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys do that lah. So it's not like... Pretty sure that's a colonial thing, not a yeah, cultural okay. thing. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay, but we do this. You guys don't do this. No, we don't do yeah. that. And you guys sing, right? The national anthem? Uh, yes, we do. Do you? <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a concert once in Malaysia, a Shawn Mendes concert. And then before wow. the concert start, people sang the national anthem first. Is it? Wow, okay. I didn't know that. Oh. At a Shawn Mendes concert? Yeah. Wow, that's that's really interesting. Yeah. I know they do at soccer matches, but not like concerts. You learn something new at least. <laughs> you taught okay. something new. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. Why do you think Malaysians and Indonesians like to argue on the internet. <laughs> oh. Okay, I only just discovered this like a few years ago. I didn't know that was a thing. But like, oh. it turns out it is. Like every single time there is like a funny video of a guy uh, riding a motorcycle or something, they always say, oh, in the Indonesians are going to come and they're going to claim this video. They're going <laughs> to say it's their street, it's their moto, it's their people who are funny. It's always like that. That's from uh, the Malaysian perspective. But from what I understand, it's like, it's very hard to tell, right? Because we look the same. Our streets look the same. Our vehicles look the same. So like, 
are you really gonna argue about that? claiming this is mine this is yours you know those kind of things like you know yeah. the the song lagu rasa sayangnya yeah, yeah. Rasa sayangi, rasa sayang, sayangi, jauh, rasa hi kawan-kawan nak main teka-teki sambil menyanyi tak nak jump hurra hurra That song, I mean, we never know. Where is it actually is from? It, yeah, is it Malaysian or is it Indonesian? I don't know. That's why. <laughs> maybe it was written in stone like 500 years ago. So maybe. That's, we never know. Sayang, hey. That's a sayang, sayang, hey. I don't know. I guess some people also say maybe it's, it's more like a brotherly kind of thing, you know, because we're so similar. Sometimes you argue, you know, it's just yeah, fun. Yeah. Exactly. I don't feel like we have any bad blood with Indonesia. But I remember when I was in primary school a long time ago, I don't think I see Malaysia as a very good country. <laughs> like in a, in a good mm-hmm. light. Some people would make fun of how you guys speak, you know, Malay. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so sorry. How did, how did they, no, how did they make fun of the way we talk? It's like... Yeah, I need to... Let's say simple things that we feel is funny. It's things like let's say pintu gawat darurat. You guys call it. Aduh, aku pintu lupa lagi. Aduh, aku dah lupa Wait, let me think. My brain cannot today. What, what is pintu gawat darurat? <laughs> My brain. Pintu gawat darurat is the emergency door. You guys call pintu it what again? Uh, pintu kecemasan. Yeah, <laughs> let's say simple things like this. It's like pintu oh. kok cemas, you know. We, it's, yeah, people like to make fun of it. Pintu kok cemas, yeah, things like that. Darurat means like emergency, like yeah, lockdown the country, martial law. That's what darurat means. I mean, it's an emergency door. Gawat darurat. So interesting. I know That's there are a lot of other things. Let me let me Google first. Do you know what tidur siang means? Huh? Tidur siang. Taking a nap. Yeah. yeah. Tidur siang. You guys yeah. also call it the same thing. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you not T- sure? People usually say uh, tertido or uh, tidur petang lah. People say tidur petang. People mm. would say you guys say petang telentang. Petang telentang. Telentang. Oh, telentang. Is it true? Petang telentang. Uh, in Malaysia or is that for Indonesia? No, for you guys. Petang telentang. No, people don't say that. No, right. So no, means, talen- oh my god, all this time, okay, we have to clear this. All this time, people like to make fun of like the Malay language saying <laughs> that it's like weird or anything. I mean, it's not entirely true. Except for like some like, you know, pintu kecemasan or like beli dua percuma satu. That's true. I mean, you guys use that we don't use yeah. anything funny. Oh, what do you guys use? Beli dua gratis satu. Beli dua? Gratis satu. Gratis. What is gratis? How do you how do you translate to, that to English? What is gratis? Free, free, free. Gratis is free. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if I want to say you can have this cup for free. Yeah. You can have this cup for gratis. Yeah, you can say that. Gratis oh. aja lah. Oh, cool. Okay, I didn't know that. We don't say percuma <laughs> for that. Percuma is just like. Let's say you're like a very stubborn person and then I'm talking to like someone. It's like, yeah, I've been telling him to do this. But like this person told me this. Ayah, percuma lah. Kamu ngomong gitu ke dia, dia gak bakalan denger. Percuma? What is it? So what it's does like, percuma mean then? How so, do you translate that to English? How do I translate? Uh, it means like whatever. Useless. Huh? Useless. <laughs> That's even more confusing. It's just, it's like useless for you to say, like, you don't have to say anything to him. It's useless, basically. Oh, uh, okay. So, percuma in, in Indonesian is like usah lah. We you don't usah. We, we uh, use usah, usah but it's uh-huh. more like in a poetic or like songs, like tak usah. Tak indah. Indah, yeah. We use tak indah. So, it means... Oh, okay, okay. It's like lantak ah in the, in the common, uh, common street speech. Maybe. Lantak ah. 
<laughs> okay. Any last words? Indonesia is cool, and yes. I don't know a lot. I don't. I really don't know that much from about Indonesia. <laughs> oh, but have you been here before? No, not even to like Jakarta or Bandung or Bali. Um, oh wow, yeah. you're not kidding. But you know, at least okay. Never mind. Yeah. Come here, visit, and see. You know, you can use your Malay. People can still at least fifty percent understand you. What? Okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah. Same as it here, right? Same yeah. In Malaysia too. Right? Wait, it depends. If you go to like Sumatra, Sumatra Island, or like Riau, mm. then you can speak Malayu. People will understand. But if you go to like Java Island, if you speak Malay, people will understand you, but like not fully understand you. Oh. The thing I always found was a little bit confusing about Indonesia is that you guys have so many different regions. You know, do you guys understand people from Sulawesi, for example? Yeah, they oh. also speak Bahasa Indonesia, but maybe different dialects a little bit, or like the slang, or maybe the the what is it called, the accent. Yeah, mm-hmm. like let's say Jax, Jaksel, Jaksel is what Jakarta Selatan. So, so South Jakarta people they like to mix. With English a little bit here and there when they speak, but then if you speak like that with, let's say people from Kalimantan, they would be like, "Why you speak like that?" You know. Oh. And then can you understand people from Kalimantan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, we understand each other, but the intonation and the accent mm. are just different. But we understand mm. each other. You get me? Maybe some words are, but like very yeah, I... little, very few. Yeah, like it's fine that one. The rest can understand. Maybe like ninety five percent can. Oh, okay. Even people from like uh West Timor. Yeah, has same education. I mean, the Bahasa Indonesia itself is the is the same. Mm, yeah. Their accents are like really different. Like we even have like different accents for people living in Kelantan, which is only like the north side of yeah uh Malaysia. We do have dialects like Sundanese, Javanese, a lot Batavis, Manadanese. They have their own language same like chinese chinese have man- the mandarin itself and then like let's say cantonese or like whatever hakka mm-hmm. right yeah same here that one we cannot understand mm-hmm. yeah they speak among the community interesting okay yeah but when they want to speak to like the rest of the indonesians just use bahasa indonesia and like people will, will just understand you can oh, go anywhere yeah. I see. can you speak chinese can you speak mandarin uh, it didn't, it didn't. But it's so bad. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But because I was in Malaysia, if not, a uh, long mm. story. Okay. I think that's it for today. <laughs> then, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And then, if there are anything that you guys want to ask, feel free to comment down below. And then, don't forget to subscribe, like, and then I'll see you guys hopefully on the next video. Bye. <laughs> thank you for being here. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, My pleasure. Anytime.